Another really interesting tool we use here at the University of Strathclyde in environmental forensics is isotope ratio mass spectrometry. Now we showed you things about gas chromatography and time of flight mass spectrometry, GCGC, and identifying these small little peaks that are out there in the environment. The question still remains, how can we uniquely identify it from where it came from? Well, on each one of those molecules is carbon and hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur. And this machine right here actually looks at the small differences in the carbon isotopes and the hydrogen isotope ratios on each one of those compounds. What's neat about that is when a plant first grows or we first make something out of oil, the original carbon isotope ratio should be related back to that plant or that oil or that industrial process. Now this machine takes exactly the same samples that we were running before on the GCGC TOF. When we put them into this machine here, it separates them off, burns them, and then measures the carbon and the hydrogen isotope ratio of each one of those compounds we saw on the other machines. So what we've done with the GC isotope ratio mass spectrometer is separate individual compounds, and now what we're doing is we're measuring the carbon and hydrogen isotope ratios with the isotope machine. What we have here is a series of standards that are first analyzed, then just like on the GC mass spectrometer or the GC time of flight mass spectrometer, we've separated each one of the compounds out, and after they've gone through the pyrolysis combustion furnace, we're measuring the differences in masses of each one of these compounds against that known standard. The machine then goes through and calculates the stable isotope ratio of carbon and hydrogen for each one, and from that, we're able to then take the data and evaluate whether it came from a natural source, an industrial source, or some kind of microbial biodegradation source in the environment.